chairman of Moto Kuitabu Assembly, Daddy Toka Jr., who was present at the closing of the four week long training, expressed sentiments of the wash needs of Moto Kuitabu villages. Moto Kuitabu villages, although you see us uh, right in the hub of a, of a thriving me metropolis, we are still uh, very much underdeveloped. There's uh, uh, certain infrastructures that we have not benefited from uh, since the, the development of the city has, has taken off. Um, so you will see with the work of the, 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 the Honourable Member what he's trying to do in, in order to provide service for, for the electorate and also people of Motukoita. He congratulated the board member for his initiatives in bringing change to the community as well as the SEGO network for collaborating with the ward member. Konyo Momo Morea, who was a participant at the training, was one of the fortunate recipients of the two pilot toilets. Husband Arua Morea said it is a very impressive structure with all features of wash being captured. It looks uh, like a, a small building, but it's very, very valuable uh, using it because it, it has uh, uh, functions under the uh, health and hygienic uh, process. Program manager Tori said the program started in November 2021, aimed at increasing women participation in community-led development programs through WASH, which includes the installation of Sago dry toilets and solar lights. Today, 10 women from the Women's Fellowship Group of the Lakani Toy Memorial Church have participated and completed community action planning, or we call it for short, CAP training. So it is beyond um, just wash and, and sanitation. The CAP components of the training covered program management, budgeting, how to look after a small project as well as COVID-19 awareness prevention. Susan Oreape, TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.